say I promise you, way faster for this group. Uh, before we get too much further, I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and do my own kind of thank yous, and then uh, I wanted to just take an opportunity to thank uh, a couple organizations here on campus that did a lot to contribute to the overall experience for the kids this weekend. Um, Student Affairs and uh, Dr. Eddie Lovin uh, provided the uh, silent, I called it a rave, apparently it's a disco, I'm a little iffy on the differentiation there, but provided the, uh, the party last night that the kids uh, went to. My understanding is that was a uh, rave success, yeah, they did there. Um, I <laughs> uh, also need to thank uh, Richard Trummel and uh, the Delta Music Institute, DMI. Um, they provided as much sound ending material as they have to help make the middle school rehearsal hall a little bit more tolerable. Uh, they're also providing a recording of tonight's uh, performance. Uh, on that, if you keep looking at the DSU Honor Band website over the next few days or so, individual recordings of all of these groups will be available. So whereas in the past you had to buy the entire recording if you had a kid playing on one band, now you'll be able to buy individual bands or access individual bands. I don't, uh, I don't have a full understanding of how they're doing that. I just said cool and so that's what this is. So if you keep a watch there, and I will send out an email when that's all ready, and you'll have access to that, and you'll be able to, uh, to listen to your heart's content. Also, it's been exciting to see people videoing and stuff. Please feel free to do that as well. Anything to record, you know, kind of for posterity, what these guys are doing is great. I still have, from 1980-something, my first honor band cassette. I can no longer listen to it because we live in 2023, but uh, I still own it, and it is one of those things I will just never get rid of, even though it takes up space and collects dust now. So these are great memories. Please do everything you can to preserve them. Um, there, it's worth it, absolutely. Um, also worth it is the price of admission to see our next clinician uh, and the work he's done with these guys. I do actually know exactly when I met our next clinician. I know exactly what time of the night, and this is an ongoing thing with him, that I first heard from him. Uh, it's been a long time, and I'm not allowed to relay that to you, because as I'm told, that is an old man band director story, so I'm not going to. But I have known Dan since at least 2001, and I have <laughs> watched him go from an undergraduate at Radford University to be one of the most respected names in music in the country. Um, it took me forever to get part of his bio into the uh, program this evening, um, which by the way, if you did not get a physical copy, there's uh, uh, QR codes posted, you can get to the digital copy on our website. Um, the things he has done in his career are fantastic. He is internationally renowned as a conductor, as a composer, as a percussionist, as an educator, as a PR specialist. Um, he's, he's a floor wax, he's a dessert topping, he's all those things. Um, he is one of the most gifted musicians I've ever known. Um, every time he talks I learn something new and it's fascinating. Uh, I hope these guys have had as much fun with him as I've had hanging out with him these last couple of days. Um, it's been fantastic to invite my dear friend Dan Booth to campus. So we help me welcome Dan to the stage.
That's just a little warm up. By Giuseppe Verdi. Dies Irae. From an amazing oratorio called Requiem. It's Verdi's Requiem. It is based off the Mass. It's oftentimes been used in a funeral Mass. Dies Irae, it's about Judgment Day. What you heard throughout, boom, 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 that's the hammer of judgment. It's the day of wrath. Did it sound like it? <laughs> How did they do with that? Wasn't that terrific? Wasn't that amazing? Can you imagine the fun that I've had over these last couple days working with such exceptionally talented young musicians? It's been a lot of fun. This program that I've put together is all about connecting with the spiritual side in some form or another. Whether it's the more religious perspective that Giuseppe Verdi offered in his Dies Irae from his Requiem, or maybe it be this next piece by Richard Salcedo, which isn't in particular of a spiritual nature, but beyond the clouds and into the heavens is certainly the direction from which any of that would flow. So I thought it would be a nice piece to feature with this band. And Richard Salcedo is very well known throughout the country, living composer today, still very active. He's involved in Drum Corps International. Any, any DCI followers here, anyone like Drum Corps? Anyone? Yeah? So you probably know that Richard Salcedo for many years was behind the Cavaliers, all of those early 2000 shows, and they kept winning or getting second place either or. That was Richard Salcedo. But he's also a fantastic composer for the stage. I think you're going to enjoy this work beyond the clouds into the heavens. Thank you. 
Well, a couple of my players have decided to leave. Well, you'll see why. This next piece is really something different. It's composed by Michael Colgris, born in 1932. He left us just a few years ago in 2019. He won a Pulitzer Prize in music for his work. He was an amazing human being, in music especially, as an educator, composer, and he was a percussionist, which I happen to be. So I always like bios like that and include percussion. And he's given the world, through his music, almost philosophically speaking, a new way to think of music. And that's what the next piece is about, old churches. It's not your traditional themes and rhythms or tempo. In fact, some parts of this music don't have any of that, literally. There are some parts that have no notes whatsoever. And there's many parts of this piece where the notes on the page are given freely to the performer to choose when and how to perform them. So what you're getting ready to experience with old churches is on the one hand, a fascinating programmatic example of how music can transport us to somewhere different. In this case, the old monasteries, medieval times, hearing the Gregorian chant of the monks. But on the other hand, what this piece provides is a unique experience to hear a composition created for the first time ever in real time, because so much of what you're going to hear is going to be how they choose to share it with you. Hope you enjoy it. This is Michael Colgrass and his old churches.
I guess there's another name I might affectionately call that piece. Old Bowls. Those are kitchen bowls that uh, you can pick up at, uh, where, Dr. Richards, where did you pick up those bowls? Walmart. Okay, Walmart. It's not an endorsement for Walmart, but they make nice bowls that you can use in pieces called Old Churches. Well, we are at the close now, not only of our Wind Ensemble program, but of the Delta State University Honors Ensembles Weekend. And it has been an extraordinary experience for us all. It wouldn't be possible without the support that you have provided as family and caretakers and talent, talent caretakers, to help nurture the journey of these young musicians so that they can participate in something that just might have not only a very significant impact on their life, it might change their life. It did for me when I was their age, and that's how I ended up here. So it really makes a difference. I want to thank you, and we want to thank you for all the support that you give to the students. Let's hear it for all of our parents and family out there. Okay. And another big thanks to all the Delta State University uh, folks that are here supporting this. Dr. Eric Richards, my friend, tremendous, amazing educator and musician. Just somebody who just, wow, he's, I always feel like I can't quite keep up with him, so he's had some nice things to say about me, but he's terrific, and the staff that's been helping us, all of them, but a few in particular, we really appreciate the help from Alex and Elizabeth and Ethan, as well as everyone else. But let's hear from all of the Delta State University folks that have made today possible. And lastly, and I do mean it sincerely, not just because every guest conductor you think would say something nice about their musicians. Well, of course we do. But there's a lot of words we could choose to use that are still very nice. But the ones I always choose to use are the ones that are the most honest in my nice words. And I want to say something about this group. <laughs> you all are amazing. That's what you are. You're amazing. You have been amazing. That's the way, that's the only way I can say it. They've just been amazing. Let's hear it for all of these incredible musicians up here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, rush! That's the next piece, that's what it's about. Now, if you've played pickup football, apparently down here in Mississippi, this is a thing. Because you don't have an offensive line, and some of us who follow our teams have an offensive line, but we don't really have an offensive line. Maybe we should try this. You count five Mississippis, and then the defense can go after the quarterback, because otherwise, you know, there's no one there to stop them. Well, Clifford Taylor, who is a Mississippi bandmaster out of Mississippi State, he's been here for a long time. He's written some great music, made some great contributions to the field, but this is one of them, this piece, Five Mississippi Rush. And he was inspired by that idea, but he went ahead and took that idea, created this piece, which has nothing really to do with football, but it does have to do with the incredible heritage of the music of the blues from Mississippi. 
And especially, I know this town here in Cleveland. You know something about the blues, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, don't you? I hope so. This is a big, this is a big crossroads of the blues in America. This is very important. This music is going to reflect on that. And as I picked it as part of our different angles of spiritual music, you're going to hear the soulfulness in this music and some outstanding talent. You're also going to hear a lot of like all of a sudden rushing and then stopping and rushing because that was kind of Cliff Taylor's way of uh, sort of emulating this fine Mississippi rush action. This is just a way we want to end our concert to not only showcase this incredible wind ensemble, but also to have a little fun. And I hope you will join us right to the end. Five Mississippi Rush, here we go.
You know what, would you mind if we just play the last very, very end of that one more time so you can clap a little louder? Can you, boy? Let's do No idea I'm going to do this.